Hi there, welcome to Motion and Product. Today's video is a short one um, where I revisit uh, this video that I made a few months ago about refreshing an API call in Bubble. And a lot of people felt that uh, the video showed that call itself wasn't updating frequently. So I was um, trying to take a look more into that in this video. To do that, I took everything back to first principles. I was thinking about the do every five seconds. So here, um, this was do every five seconds in the video of the API call. I was calling it every 10 seconds. What happens here, I'm just calling and just trying to see if if I do a background loop, um, if it will work. Uh, if I did a preview of this. And if you want to know how to do this custom animation loading, there's a video right here to see how you could do that. But every five seconds, this number will update. And I'm like, okay, cool. That means the background task uh, from Bubble to do something every five seconds does work. So I could rule out that I wasn't calling things correctly. What we're doing in the case of the API call is that we're uh, calling an API to refresh a list of um, coins uh, here. So there's extra time to call an API, get the response, and then update all the elements within that list. My theory is that when I was setting it up to do it every 10 seconds, there could be a condition where the whole time to make the call, update the list, and do everything could not be done within the 10 seconds. So what then happens is that you'll have this chain reaction and everything just piles up and it feels like the UI is not updating itself. I then uh, recently just increased this uh, duration to 60 seconds. I feel that's enough time to make the API call, get the response back and then update the UI elements. Um, and with that, I feel like this whole thing is working a lot better now. Now, when you look at this page um, in the demo, you can see that these numbers will update more consistently um, every minute rather than every 10 seconds. And that's just on the basis of the API that we're calling and that we want to give it enough buffer time so that we can do all those things in the background and then update the UI without stalling or without any kind of race conditions around that. All right, that's it for today. Um, if you found this tip useful, please click like and subscribe. I hope you join again in the future so you can learn how to build better products using no code and low code solutions.